Hello friends, welcome. In this video I'm going to work with uh, routes. So here we are in the our project and uh, when we go here we have this uh, HTML page. Here is the logo, Laravel, documentation. We have some uh, a link here, also we have some text. And that is coming from the resources, views, this uh, welcome page. So if I make a change here, so let's go when we see Laravel has a wonderful, let's say, let's remove this and save it. Okay, come here and refresh. So here we have Laravel has wonderful refresh now and we don't have that. Okay, so that is, is coming from uh, this page. Now how is coming from this? Let's open the roads and the Laravel roads is here inside this roads directory and in the web routes we have this uh, by default is coming with Laravel now the roads has a couple of uh, methods related to the HTTP verbs so like get we have here uh, post, put, delete and etc so get is used to fetch the data and the parameters are first is the endpoint here so we see road get and the endpoint which is stands for when we go to the default domain here dot test and slash is this one so right now we have something like this because i removed the style so let's also remove everything here just add an h1 and say welcome okay and refresh yeah now we have this welcome and as i said uh route cat is going to read the point of this default url now here the first parameter is this endpoint the second parameter is Right now is this a uh, closure, but we can add also the shorter way, but I'm going to sh show you in the more videos to come. And here the closure is uh, an anonymous function and is directly called here. So we have this function as it's called directly when we get this endpoint and right now it's returning this uh, view magic uh, method and uh, this uh, is not PHP method this is a Laravel method it is a Laravel helper method we have uh, many of them so and what this view does so or what this view is responsible is the is to find the template and the templates are in the resources views directory so you see here here we have the welcome.blade.php and now this view have this welcome name the same name as it here but we don't need to add the dot blade.php dot blade.php is laravel blade template engine and with that we return that uh, this blade when we go to the, this endpoint okay so let's uh, create another route 
So let's copy this and I'm going to duplicate this one and just say test here. And I'm not going to return a welcome, a view. I'm going to return just a string. So hello test. Let's save it. And now if we navigate to the slash test, we need, we need to see this hello test string. So let's go and check that out. I save it here. So let's go to the slash test. And as, as I said to you, we have this hello test here. Now let's return the same thing, return the view, but I'm going to create new view, return the view. And I'm going to say, for example, test view. We don't have that. So let's go inside the views. Now we need to create that view. And I'm going to save this as a, a test blade. So let's say save as a test blade inside this view and return this test right now. Okay, so let's save it. Also in the test blade, I'm going to change this welcome to be test page. Okay, and now here we have the hello test. If I refresh, we have this test page. Okay, and also if you open the page source, we have the HTML here and body and H1 for test page. Okay, but if we see here, we have this uh, test page. And also in the welcome page, we have the same HTML. It's just changing the H1. So H1 here, which say welcome, and the same thing, we just change the H1. So this is for repeating HTML and it's not a good way because we have more nice way to do that. So inside the resources, we can create uh, in the Laravel called layouts. We can create a folder or I'm going to create first a new file and name it app dot blade.php and inside this app I'm going to select all here copy and paste it in the app.blade.php and here when we have this welcome I'm going to remove and I'm going to say yield and you see here because I have extensions for Laravel installed it's going to say me yelled here and I'm going to call it a content so here is going to be the content for the template now in in the welcome instead of having something like this we can remove everything here and just say Laravel directive uh, extends and okay call the Laravel directive extends and here we need to add and you see here we I have up here we need to add this layout so extends this layout and remove also the body and HTML but it's not uh, we need to also to add one more so if I go As essentials, yeah, we have this welcome, but if I view the page source, you see here we have the welcome in front, the H1, and after we have the HTML. So we don't want that, but we want to have the HTML and after in here the content. So to do that, we can say here, call the section. And this section is this, this yield is for that section. So let's copy the name we added here and paste in the section. And we need to end this section. So we need to say end section. And with that, let's save it. 
Now we have something like this, but if I refresh, yeah, you see it's going down. And of, of course, if I open the view page source, now we have the HTML and inside the body tag, we have the hash one. So this is much simpler. So if we have the test blade, which is something like this, and in the welcome, we have something like this. So let's copy this and do the same thing in the blade. Save some time and say here, uh, test page. Okay, you see here how nice it is. Is also another way by creating a component, but in the next videos, not in this video. With that, now if I go again in the slash test, we have this test page and the same thing. If I open the page source, we have the HTML and the H1 is rendered inside the body tag. Okay, friends, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoy and if you like uh, content like this about Laravel, please subscribe to my channel and I'm going to do my best. All the best and see you in the next one. Thank you very much.